All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be making changes to the uh, tire circumference through four skis. So if you remember, I changed the tires to stock 18 inch, 255 70s, I believe, to the uh, Sasquatch package wheels, which are almost about 35 inch. So the circumference is off, right? The, the tire is bigger, so it's off. So we're gonna adjust it, because right now the speedometer is off too, right? Let me show you what the speedometer is doing. Okay, so see how the speedometer is off? It's about three miles an hour off. I'm going six, it says I'm going 62, but I'm actually going around 65. This is a G, just a GPS uh, pro. Coming off. The higher speeds you go, the more you can tell that something's off. I mean, if we were to go, I don't know, let's go 80, see what happens. 84. Yeah, it's off. So there's a couple of things that affect this tire circumference thing. And one is obviously the speedometer. Two is the miles per gallon. The miles per gallon are not accurate. You're actually traveling, you're getting better miles per gallon than what the vehicle is actually saying. So if it's saying it's like, like mine right now is at 17.4, 17.5 around there. Um, it's probably more around 18 and a half, maybe 19. I really don't know, I, but I know it's higher. Okay. And then the third thing is the transmission is changing gears at a different spot because it thinks it's going faster or slower, right? All right, guys, we're back at the house. Now we're going to connect our OBD Link EX, okay? Okay, and like always, we're going to turn the vehicle just on power and open up for scan. All right, we're going to let it connect. It recognizes the vehicle, so hit yes. And it's reading, 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 and ready. See? All right, we're going to go into the body control module. So we're going to go down here to the body control module. Hit run. All right, we're going to go into tire. You can actually also search tire. Circumference. So right now we're at 2,475 millimeters. And we're going to change that. So we're going to edit. Here we're going to put our new value. Okay, we're going to take a second to measure the actual circumference of both the new and the old wheel. You can see it there. Okay, so this is a stock 255-70R18. That means it's 255 millimeters width. 70% is the actual wall width, 70% of that. And then the wheel itself is 18, 18 millimeter. I'm sorry, 18 inch. It is a millimeter, it's all mixed together, okay? It's kind of unusual. Okay, then you have the Sasquatch ones. They are 315, 70, 17s, okay? So you're changing the wheel tire, the wheel size, and you're changing the tire size also. Tires, th the width is 315 millimeters, and 70% of that is still the actual wall, the actual sidewall. Okay, both of these are brand new. This is, this, is, this is the old spare. This is the old spare, and this is the new one, spare. Um, they have no, I mean, no use at all on them. So we're gonna just measure them real quick and see where, where they land. Okay, so I'm running the very edge, right on the top of the thread. This is pretty much what's gonna be actually touching the ground, right, all the way around. I'm measuring it to right here. All right. Okay, we're just gonna measure it out real quick, and we can't find the my a centimeter. But it is right at 99. It had a little stretch to it, so right at 99. All right, so we're measuring this spare tire now. Again, this one's brand new too. And you see the difference. I mean, that's a good, at least a good seven inches. Eight inches maybe. So I'm gonna stretch on it a little bit. I'm gonna say it's right here. Okay, so now the Sasquatch, it stretched out. A good little stretch on it. It's just over 106 inches, right? Just a bit over. Okay, so let's calculate that. 106.25 inches is about 2698, almost 2699. Rounded up to 2700, right? 2700 
millimeters, right? Now, using tire size calculator, like this is through tiresize.com. Um, when I input the actual size of the tire here, it's calculating 107.9, so a little bit higher, right? I don't know if it's using the center or what. really don't know why. <laughs> I measured the actual height of the tire also, and it is close to 34. It's like 34. It's just a little bit over 20. I don't think it's 34.4. It should be about 34 point, maybe 1.2 on there. Okay, so let's erase this and let's do the 107.9 that is actually calculated. So it's close to 2741. I don't know. Okay, so the measurements are a little off also. I mean, it's, everything is just so difficult to calculate, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to go with a little conservative on the bigger tires. Instead of the 2741 or 42 that we're calculating, I'm going to say it's 27 even. 2700. Hit OK. We can go down here to right. Are you sure you want to change it? We're going to hit yes. Okay, so the vehicle just flashed. I'm gonna turn it off. Turn it back on. Then hit okay. Okay, so if you check, you're gonna get some error messages. Check the four x four, service vehicle soon. This is something that comes up now on the newer vehicles where in the past it would just automatically take whatever configuration you put in there, whatever the circumference is. These don't do that now. So you have to go back in here. So we're done with this. We're going to hit stop. Okay, we're going to go into clear error codes here. We're going to see if we can read them first. So there's a all-wheel drive and the PCM. We're going to clear these. Yes. It's going to tell us to turn the vehicle off. And then turn it back on. And we're going to hit OK. Then we can go into the modules here to the PCM here. And we're gonna play. Hit OK. It's gonna ask us to turn the vehicle off again. Give it some time for it to reset everything. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing now on the all-wheel dry system. Gonna ask us to turn the vehicle off again. Hit OK. And then on again. All right. It says it's successful. 
I'll turn this thing on. Okay, so the codes are gone. So no more service engine, no more uh, four by four service. Let's go drive around and see how it does. Oh, and don't forget to log out here. Click home, click disconnect, and exit out. Driving around just a little bit, uh, I think we're gonna be a little off, so I need to adjust it. It's hard to tell when you're accelerating. It's easier to tell whenever you're actually going at a constant speed. Like, let's go, I don't know, actually, let's go faster. Two to three miles per hour lower now, or actually, I'm higher than what the actual speed is. Okay, I still feel like it's off too much, so I'm gonna adjust it a little lower now. Um, I'm just stopped here at a shopping strip, and we're gonna just do this real quick on the computer. Um, I'm just gonna go down to 2600, 2600 even, and see, see how it goes. So 2653 is what the original. Sasquatch package has, from what I understand. I'm gonna make it 2600. We're gonna hit okay, we're gonna hit right. Are you sure? Let's do it. All right, ignition off. Ignition back on. We're gonna hit okay. All right, we still got the service engine. And so we're gonna go into, oops, stop. Okay, we're gonna go into stop service. Back to configuration. And we're just gonna do, we're gonna try one thing. We're gonna do only, where is it? Over here. We're only gonna do the all wheel drive relearn. Play. Make sure you read this up. Okay, I'm doing the only the all-wheel drive relearn because earlier that's all I did and it worked. Maybe it's because I recently turned it off. Maybe it's because I recently reset the transmission or the DTC. I cleared the codes and it says turn. Turn it off. You're gonna hit OK. Let it do its thing. And then turn it back on. And then it says service successful. And no more error message. So we're gonna see foot stop. So I'm going to go up here and click on, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect and exit out and then turn the vehicle back on. All right, let's go for another drive. All right, let's see where we land now. up to oh man we pretty much got it now let's go out to 67 and see what it does 67 67 67 boom boom nice okay so I'm happy with that um, it'll keep the speedometer right, it'll make the MPG correct, and then even the miles used on the vehicle, it'll be correct also, so. All right guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the videos I have. Deuce!